Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about session location. This isn't finding where you've left your project, this is about your location within a session. So one of people's bugbears about Cubase, and they often ask me about this, is a better way to place your current time and position within Cubase. So you normally, to place this, you have to click within this little dark region here where the numbers are. So if I click here, you can see I'm setting my play position. If I move too high, it turns to a pencil. And if I click and drag, I can set my locators, which you may or may not have known that you can do that. But certainly setting this can be a bit finicky. And also if you're on a large screen, a 4K screen, etc., it can be a fair bit of mouse mileage. There is a solution to this and it's in the preferences. So on the Mac, it's under Cubase and preferences. On Windows, it's under edit and preferences, but go to the preferences window. And once you've opened that up, go to transport and then tick this box at the bottom, locate when clicked in empty space. And now whenever you click in empty space, your position will be set. So you can see there I set it off the end of my session. I can do it there. Now, obviously I've got a fairly solid tracks here because this is uh, mostly a multi-track recording, but you can see anywhere I click within this, it works and sets your location. So you may find that a much more intuitive way to do it. And obviously you can still select parts as normal. So that doesn't change any of that. But now if you click in empty space, it will set your location, which may save you a fair bit of mouse mileage. So as ever, hope you found that useful. And if you have, please do all the normal stuff, etc. And we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.